The following program contains mature subject matter and material that is not suitable for the younger audience. Your discretion is advised. Happy Canada Day, Mugen fans. Welcome to another edition of Mugen Fight Night Fires. I'm Professor, alongside F515. Tonight we have extra action waiting for you all around the world. We have number one contendership matches plus a handicap match, a request match, and a rivalry match. And later on we'll have more matches to be announced for Over the Edge. I promise all Mugen fans, it will not get more intense than this. And we will soon announce the matches. But for now, let's celebrate Canada Day with some action. We have a request match from Brandon Johnson. It's the heroes of Marvel and DC Comics versus the villains of Marvel and DC. As loud as a 2 vs 2 Mugen match at the best of three rounds. Fighting team with the most countdown by knockouts will win the match. Sorry about before, you know, the running away, and that was rude of me. No, you'll be happy to know I won't be running anymore. And round one is in the way. Green Goblin going for all pumpkin attacks. Meanwhile, Joker's going after Batman. Ladies and gentlemen, Batman and Joker are taking massive damage. Ladies and gentlemen, meanwhile, Batman. Oh, what a somersault! And now Batman's going after Joker. Green Goblin's going after Spider-Man. And oh my lord, pumpkin attacks! It's Spider-Man now that's taking damage. Green Goblin is almost down. Joker's health has just been cut in half. And oh my lord, the pumpkin attacks again by Goblin. And oh my lord, what a web attack! Joker's down. Batman. Spider-Man. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, looks like Joker's still standing, Green Goblin's down, and oh my lord, what the car is this? Oh my lord, looks like this is, oh, the Batmobile lost the wheel, and Joker had to pay for it, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, looks like, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's over. K.O. Round two, fight! And Rev 2 is in the way, and oh my lord, Batman just got electrocuted. And now once again, the, the pumpkin attack by the Green Goblin, and now oh my lord, what a hit by Batman. Green Goblin is almost down, Joker's taking massive damage, and oh my lord, now it's... Oh my lord, looks like... Oh, Green Goblin's down, Joker's health has just been cut in half. Batman and Spider-Man, they're holding their all in this one. Web swing by Batman and Spider-Man, and oh my lord, it looks like this. Oh, it's over. What happened? In a near flawless victory for Spider-Man and Batman, they destroyed Joker and Green Goblin. And let's not forget the Batmobile playing a major role, causing major damage to the comic book villains. And with that said, congratulations, Batman and Spider-Man. Justice has been served. Congrats indeed to Marvel and DC Heroes now two episodes back. Our board of directors gave Bridge Burlington, our former CEO, plus 11 fighters their pink slips. And they have vowed to give back to the fans affected by the Rich Burlington scandal. Coming up next is a Mugen match and what a special match about it. It's a pony battle where the winner of this match will become Fluttershy's partner. And ladies and gentlemen... Fluttershy and her new tag team partner will have to defend their titles at Over the Edge. For Mugen fans, let's not forget the winner joins Fluttershy to defend the 0-1 tag team titles. And so the following contest is a Mugen match schedule for best two or three rounds. The fighter with the most wins by countdown and knockout will win the match and be Fluttershy's partner. <laughs> And Red Wind is in the way, and oh my lord, Rarity, oh wait a minute, it's Galena to Rarity, oh my lord, looks like this is massive damage here, ladies and gentlemen, 20 get combo, Rarity's office has been cut in half, and oh my lord, jam attack, and now oh my lord, what an attack by Pinkie and now in comes the party cannon, oh what a kick by Rarity, ladies and gentlemen, and now oh fuck, surprise, and now what the car is this, oh my lord, hit with the scarf, Again, the hit with the scarf, and ladies and gentlemen, oh, what a back kick, and now, jam attack again, ladies and gentlemen, it's like, baby by being very defensive, oh, what a kick, ladies and gentlemen, and now, oh, what a counter with the party ball, and now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Magic plus the Scarf attack, and now Rarity is out for blood in this battle, ladies and gentlemen. And now, what you gonna do, ladies and gentlemen? She's going for a special, and oh my lord, Gem Meteorites, ladies and gentlemen. And now, oh, Pinkalina, but it counters, and ladies and gentlemen, Pinkie Pie is down. Round two, fight. And round two begins, ladies and gentlemen. Scarf attack by Rarity, and ladies and gentlemen, oh, what a kick attack, ladies and gentlemen. Pinkie Pie did take some damage. Party cannon, nothing happens, but oh my lord. Pinkalina to Rarity again, ladies and gentlemen, taking massive damage. Her health is about to get cut in half, and it does. And now Scarf attack, and now Rarity on the attack. Oh, with a kick, ladies and gentlemen. Now Crystal Attack, now with the Tarsus. Oh, kick and return by Pinkie Pie. Again with the hit, ladies and gentlemen. And another one, ladies and gentlemen, three times. And now Scarf Attack, again, ladies and gentlemen. Rarity is almost down. And oh my lord, this is gonna be big. It's over. Round three, fight. And we are going into a round three and rarity with oh my lord scarves and weapon attacks and now what the car says oh my lord the change of that Atsunimiku does exactly the same thing and oh my lord looks like Banky by the same thing and her health has just been cut in half and now ladies and gentlemen oh my lord looks like rarity is being very defensive now Banky by being offensive oh my lord Pinkalina to Rarity for the third time, and once again, Rarity's health has just been cut in half, ladies and gentlemen. But what the dar is this? Oh my lord, Scarf attack. Let's not forget, Rarity always comes out on top of this one. Oh, what a kick attack. It's a close call. Party cannon to Pinkie Pie. Oh my lord, Scarf attack. And now Magic again with the Scarf attack. And now three times. Now what the dar is this? Oh my lord, he's going for ultimate special, ladies and gentlemen. She's got her cornered, and again, the chain attack, and this time it connects, and she faces it over. <laughs> what an ultimate takedown by Rarity. She defeated Pinkie Pie and joined Spluttershy at Over the Edge, where they will defend the 01 women's titles against the number one contenders, and we'll find out later tonight. Now, honestly, I did not expect that to happen. But then again, you don't mess with Rarity or Fluttershy, especially when the titles are up for grabs. Better luck next time, Pinkie Pie. You fought well in this battle. And what should it be for a pony battle? But ladies and gentlemen, let's prepare to change gears. Ryugan defeated Galactus last time. But Galactus is far from done. And he got Chuck Norris to assist him in a two-on-one battle. Now, Ryugan is in hot lava. True, but he will be in even more hot lava at Over the Edge when he battles Cursor in his stronghold in a 3-on-1 handicap match. The following is a 2-on-1 handicap match that Professor F3 rounds. The team of fighter with the most points by countdown and knockout will win the match. Round 1. Fight. And round 1 is run away, and ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord. Dark Ball by Ryugan, and oh my lord, Cosmic Beam, Grenade by Chuck Norris. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryugan is taking massive damage, his health is already cut in half, and look at this, what attacks, it's over. In the eyes of a rain. Round 2, fight. fight. It's round two is underway, and once again, the Dark Ball by Ryugan, Silver Server by Galactus, Grenades by Chuck Norris, Cosmic Beam by Galactus now, ladies and gentlemen, Ryugan is almost down, again, oh my lord, what the hell is this, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's over. With an overkill by Galactus and Chuck Norris, they brutally destroyed Ryugan in the handicap match. I guess it's safe to say Ryugan was messing with the wrong fighters. And congrats to Chuck Norris and Galactus. Better luck next time, Ryugan. Well, Ryugan better prepare himself. Next time on MFNF, Cursor will announce his partners in the 3-on-1 handicap match, and we'll see who's next on the Mugen Fight Night Fighters list. And coming up next, it's been a while since we last saw Waluigi in a Mugen match, and after many months of vacations, Waluigi is back and ready for one-on-one -on -one action against Vent from Megaman. It's going to be Wario versus Vent. 
This is going to be interesting. Best two out of three rounds. You can match one on one. Well, Fenton Waluigi cannot wait to step in the battle. Following contest is a new game matchup for best two out of three rounds. Fight over the most victories by countdown or knockout will win the match and be victorious. Good size. <laughs> round one. Fight. And round one is in the way, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, Bench just turned into zero from Mega Man. And now the battle begins, ladies and gentlemen. Waluigi is throwing hammers, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's throwing uppercuts and punches. Hammer again, ladies and gentlemen. Waluigi is being really uh, offensive. But now what's Waluigi taking damage? Vent going on the attack. And now Vent is... Oh my lord, looks like Vent is being cornered. And oh my lord, what a slash attack. And now... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Vent is going after Waluigi big time. And now Waluigi is trying to hold his own, ladies and gentlemen. 60 seconds remaining. And oh, what a slash attack to Waluigi. And ladies and gentlemen, Vent is still going into that corner, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's going into the other corner. Waluigi is measuring Vent for another attack. And oh my lord, what a punch it connects. And now 40 seconds remaining. It looks like it's Waluigi with the most health, ladies and gentlemen. If this is a countdown victory, Vent will be the winner of this match. But ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, what a hit. Now hammer attacks. And oh, what a slash, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Vent can take this round. And ladies and gentlemen, 20 seconds remaining. And now he's getting stuck into the corner. Oh my lord, hammer attacks and slashes. Bob bomb, but it missed wildly, ladies and gentlemen. And now Waluigi's health has been cut in half. Oh my lord, Waluigi's fighting back. 10 seconds left, but no, his health has been cut in half. It could be a countdown victory for Ben. And ladies and gentlemen, it's over. Countdown. I'm over. I hate this game. Round 2. Fight. Fight. And we are going into a round two, and now Vent is going, oh my lord, going to use his blaster, and now it's Waluigi on the attack, hammer throw, but it missed, ladies and gentlemen, and now Waluigi measuring Vent, oh my lord, hammer attack and connect, and now what the car is dead, oh my lord, they're going airborne, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my lord, looks like Vent is once again trying to go for that corner, evading Waluigi, but ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, he went right into Waluigi, right into a hammer and kick attack, and oh my lord, now, oh, another hammer attack. This time it's Waluigi delivering most of the damage, and oh my lord, Waluigi with a special, it did not do much damage, but it did do enough, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to 53 seconds remaining, and ladies and gentlemen, Hent is still going for that corner, ladies and gentlemen, now it's evenly matched. Waluigi versus Vent right here tonight and we can fight that fighter. Oh my lord. Oh what a hit, ladies and gentlemen. And Vent now taking the damage. Waluigi. Oh my lord. Bunches, hammer throws, and hammer smacks. And now oh what a special by Waluigi, but it makes 30 seconds remaining. Waluigi's charging up. And he's charging up again, ladies and gentlemen. Is invading him. Oh my lord. Flash attack. And now what the car is this? Oh, a power up, ladies and gentlemen. 20 seconds remaining. Oh, Waluigi going for punches. This could be a countdown victory for Waluigi and we could see a round three in this one, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, 10 seconds left. I think it's possible for a countdown victory for Waluigi and oh my lord. Looks like Waluigi and Ben, they're trying to evade each other. And it's over. A countdown. Time over. Only cheaters mess up. Round three. Fight. Fight. And we're going into a round three, ladies and gentlemen, and the hammer attack has started, but oh, what a slash by Benz, and ladies and gentlemen, Waluigi did take some damage, but now it's Benz taking damage, oh, bum bomb attack, and now, oh, special, Waluigi did not do much damage to Benz, but ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, hammer smack, and ladies and gentlemen, it's Benz, who is now taking damage, Benz is still obsessed with that corner, and oh my lord, Ladies and gentlemen, special by Waluigi, and ladies and gentlemen, it finally connects. Ben's health has just been cut in half. I've never seen that before from Waluigi. And now, oh my lord, looks like we're down to 58 seconds remaining. Now, Waluigi's health has just been cut in half. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a very close call if this keeps up. And oh my lord, oh, what a throw attack by Ben. And now, 
Oh, but bomb attack, but it missed Wilder. Punches, hammer smacks, flashes. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayhem does not stop there. 37 seconds remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, double hammer attack, ladies and gentlemen. And now Waluigi is going for more hammer attacks. So ladies and gentlemen, we're down to 28 seconds remaining. And Ben is still obsessed by that wall, by that corner, ladies and gentlemen. 20 seconds remaining. Oh, what a blaster attack. This is going to be a very close call for another countdown victory. It could go, it could go either way right now. And oh my lord, Ben took major damage. And now we're down to 10 seconds left. And Waluigi capitalized. Ladies and gentlemen, I think he is. Looks like Ben has less health. And it's over. Waluigi wins it. I'm over. <laughs> I got it. Wow. A 2-1 countdown victory by Waluigi. Great to see Waluigi back in Mugen Fight Night Fighters. He took a long vacation plus lots of training to beat Ben. And at the same time, I can't believe Ben turned into zero for Mega Man. Just trying to fight Waluigi and defeat him. Waluigi's been waiting for a victory for a very long time. I did not expect it to be like this. Then again, another match added to Waluigi's career. And we move on to the number one contendership matches. Wario better watch himself. These two are heavy hitters. They are aggressive. And they have one thing in common. And that's the Mugen Fight Night Fighters champion. But who will become number one contender? El Stinger versus Iron Man. One of these fighters will battle Wario at Over the Edge for the Mugen Fight Night Fighters title. But who will it be? This match is going to be explosive. The following contest is a Mugen matchup with best one of three rounds. Fighter with the most points that countdown or knockout will win the match. And round one begins, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, what a ball attack by Iron Man. But Hell Stinger's not taking any of this. Oh, what am my lord, ladies and gentlemen. Knee strikes. And oh, oh what a cartwheel attack by Hell Stinger. And oh, what a hit, ladies and gentlemen. And an elbow strike. Iron Man himself has just been cut in half. And now, oh, what a hit, ladies and gentlemen, by Hell Stinger. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord. Hell Stinger is laying waste to him. And oh my lord, looks like Iron Man. And six massive damage. Iron Man is almost down. 66 seconds remaining. Oh my lord, what a hit by El Stinger. And ladies and gentlemen, team attack, it's over. You Round two, fight. And round two is underway. And now, oh my lord, looks like Iron Man is now starting the match. Oh my lord, rocket attacked by Iron Man. Rocket beaten by Iron Man. But oh my lord, El Stinger is still throwing massive damage. Iron Man's help is just a cut in half, and oh my lord, oh what a beam by Iron Man, and now fireballs and a beam ball, ladies and gentlemen, Iron Man is still taking damage by El Stinger, oh ladies and gentlemen, plunging the combos, but now oh my lord, oh what a neck breaker by El Stinger, and now cartwheel kicks, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my lord, what a headbutt, and ladies and gentlemen, uppercut by Iron Man, and oh my lord, what the hell is this, El Stinger's up just been cut in half, it's over, drop game. <laughs> what an amazing display of flexibility and agility from El Stinger. He decimated Iron Man in two rounds, and although Iron Man did try to put up his dukes, it wasn't enough to put El Stinger away. And that's all she wrote for Iron Man versus El Stinger in this crazy battle. And with that said, El Stinger will be facing Wario for the MFNF Championship at Over the Edge at Newsflash. Our current MFNF Champion is calling the shots. He's using the last of the two gimmicks and he intends to beat El Stinger in 60 seconds of mayhem, which is exactly one minute per round. Will Stinger accept the Wario Challenge? El Stinger will have to think about it. It isn't a lot of time for the title to change hands or to be retained. And speaking of championship, coming up next is our main event. The winner of this match will battle Rarity and Fluttershy for the all one women's title at Over the Edge. Which of these fighters are DC? The following contest is a 2 vs 2 match set for best of three rounds. Team with the most wins by countdown or knockout will win the match. God. Woo! Okay, let's Round go. Round 1. Fight. Fight. And round one begins, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my lord, looks like, oh, Supergirl going for her punch combos, ladies and gentlemen, and oh my lord, whip attack, and now, oh, Wonder Woman with the big whip throw, ladies and gentlemen, and oh, what massive damage, and it looks like Cat Girl 
Oh my lord, Catwoman takes massive damage. And oh my lord, Catwoman is already down, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a hit. And now going after Batgirl, and it's over. Strength is nothing against fun. skill. Round two, fight. And round two is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my lord, look at that girl. And that woman, ladies and gentlemen, their health has just been cut in half. Oh my lord, looks like Wonder Woman and Supergirl. They're out for blood in this match. And now, oh, punch combos. Now, oh, what an uppercut by Wonder Woman. Ladies and gentlemen, Catwoman is down. Oh no, my lord, that girl is left standing. And oh my lord, she's cornered. And now going for punch combos, Supergirl, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, neck breaker, it's over. Oh, and Amazon on. never surrenders. A flawless victory and a double near flawless victory in both rounds. It's official. The rematch is on. Wonder Woman and Supergirl have earned a rematch against Fluttershy. But let's see how powerful they are against Rarity. With that being said, that's all she wrote for tonight. Let's quickly announce the current lineup for Over the Edge. And what epic battles do we have, ladies and gentlemen? It's cutthroat. It's high-flying. Pedal to the metal. You'll ever witness a new can fight night fighters. This is Over the Edge. And here is our current lineup that we have in stores for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a big match, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this. The all one Women's Championship, Fluttershy and Rarity will have to defend their titles against Wonder Woman and Supergirl. This is the rematch from Invasion. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to get nasty for both teams. Which team will become the all one Women's Champion? And then the tag team titles are on the line between Tutti and Guts against the Juggernauts. The Juggernauts have been on an all-out rampage for many years now. And now it's time for Tutti and Guts to take on the Juggernauts. Who will walk out of Over the Edge Tag Team Champions? Tutti and Guts or the Juggernauts? We're going to find out at Over the Edge. And then... Dink Smallwood versus Darth Vader. This is the rematch of Invasion, ladies and gentlemen. And these two are ready to step into battle. After Dink Smallwood lost the title to Darth Vader back at Invasion, these two are ready for a big rematch. And Darth Vader will have to prepare himself because Dink Smallwood wants the championship. And also, for the big battle, ladies and gentlemen, Wario versus Al Stinger. 60 seconds of mayhem. You have 60 seconds on the clock to defeat your opponent, best two out of three, and this is all for the Mugen Fight Night Fighters Championship. Who will become the Mugen Fight Night Fighters Champion once all is over? Wario or El Stinger? May the best fighter win in only 60 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Mugen fans, I cannot wait to witness those four fights, and I cannot wait to see what else Mugen Fight Night Fighters has in store for these fighters. But enough of that. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time on a brand new episode of Mugen Fight Night Fighters. Good night, everybody.